Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam and this is a Crafty Blinder van build. Today we're fitting swivel bases to our bench seat and our driver's seat. And we'll be dropping the handbrake as well, with a little help from your brother John. Okay. Best thing about ordering packages off the internet, the day they arrive, you get to unpack them. Today's delivery is my double and single mm -hmm. swivel seat base from RJ Camper Solutions. Wow. Really good product. This is a swivel seat. Oh, Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> How good is this? That's your seatbelt test. It's actually the M1 really certificate good. for the pull test that's carried out on the swivel bases. As you may have guessed, I'm really impressed with this product, but I'm really impressed at how heavy it is as well. I underestimated the weight of this when I was lifting out the box. <laughs> Everything you need to fit the base comes in the kit in this box. Um, I also ordered a handbrake loading kit, which drops a handbrake about 40 mils, which takes it just below the same height as your seat base when you've got the handbrake off really good kit you know in the end I, I purchased the full kit because I wanted the front seat to swivel the driver's seat and the bench seat <coughs> these are so heavy <coughs> I've already managed to save a bit of time. My seats have been removed long ago, before I started fitting the batteries and the solar charger. So it was a quick drop in. But uh, as before, I forgot to remove a bolt on this corner. So once that was out of the way, it fitted perfectly really quickly just a matter of firing it in now bolting it up this kit utilizes all the original bolts and fixing locations so don't go chucking anything away because you're gonna need it that's good it uses all the old kits in there. basically you just spin them out I realised my brother was desperate to see this being demonstrated, so before it was even bolted in, I had to show him how it worked. I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect what I got. The action on this swivel base is so smooth, it's unbelievable. I was expecting it to be awkward and cumbersome, um, a bit of a chore to sort out, but really, really wasn't. Very, very impressed. Parts of the seat, you'll have to you'll have to maybe push it uh, and guide it round to miss the other the, the other yeah. bits. I did actually spend a good half an hour playing with this base. I was just impressed with how it operated, how smooth it was, and how little effort's required to actually move it. Because this is the airbag as well. I was wondering how all this would work. It's all covered there, eh? like the nice. sticks under there. It plugs into the bottom of your seat. Need an airbag or seat belt. Really, 
really well I'm gonna hit that. Cool. Got it up with Andy. Once playtime was over, it was time to bolt the thing in. And it was really straightforward. Again, four bolts, the original four bolts. Um, a little bit of modification for the original seat belt that goes up against the door. And job done. The normal point to anchor your seat belt is is there on your seat but now you've got it on a sliding base you need to anchor it at this point here and with this kit from RJ they send you this plate which allows you to locate the bracket so it's in the correct position for the seat belt unlike this one which is pointing the wrong way so since making this video I've changed it on the other side We use the original fixings and the original locations and just secure it to the new base. As for the socket for the seatbelt, you don't touch that, it stays exactly as it is. Okay, let's drop this handbrake. So I've put the car in gear, the van in gear. I've uh, chopped the back wheels and we're just going to let it down while we take this off. These are 16 mil. Nuts. I loosened them yesterday. So this drops the handbrake down 40 millimeters, which should be enough to uh, allow the chair to swivel when it's in the right position. drop forward a little bit. So again this bracket is part of the kit that comes from RJ um, RJ Camper Solutions. <coughs> really good kit. It's been well thought out. need to look at this cable. I'm going to have to go underneath and check that cable. It's just quite a heavy, a heavy bend on it. Now, it still looks like it fits.
Right, so we need to take a substantial amount of this out here just to get it to slot back in. So, let's go and mod that and come back. In the end, I ended up taking out quite a bit. This is where it should have come to. So we've ended up taking about 40 or 50 mil, the height that we've dropped the handbrake. The only um, problem I have with this kit at the minute is to remove these bolts, I need a TRX star socket. And there isn't one in the kit, and to be honest with you, there's not a lot of people who have these just lying around. So. You have to borrow one, you may have to buy one. But for sure, you're going to need one. So, nice enough, these two. And then, what I would suggest is slide the seat back, take and remove the front one. The single swivel base feels just as heavy as the double. Um, there's probably about the same amount of material in it, and it is very well built, same as the double. But um, just take care when you're moving this around because it will squash your fingers or your toes if you drop it. It's uh, it's a good weight. Don't know if this was a quality control issue. Um, but this base didn't come with a seat belt sensor cable through the centre bolt, so I had to cut the original cable. So when you're doing this, take care, don't cut both sides of the cable at once, split them, cut one at a time, because you don't want to send a, a fault back to your uh, control system. Once you've got all the bolts secure and you're happy, it's time to fit the old seats. But I'm not going to show you that. Before ordering the swivel bases, I decided that I was going to reupholster my seats. I looked around, couldn't find anyone local, so I looked around to find who was good. And a lot of the names kept coming back as Anderson Upholstery, who were based in Newton Aircliff over in the northeast. It isn't too far away from us, it's about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes drive and it's one other end of the A66 to where we live. So, popped across, seen them, chose a design, um, a little bit of our own input as well and this is me returning for the guys to fit them. So in the next video I'll show you how we got on. If you want to support us, hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.